We're in Carmel, California, heading south towards Big Sur on the famous Highway 1, which is actually a ribbon of a road at the very edge of the North American continent. Our objective today is to capture one good image of the Bixby Bridge. Now the bridge has a really long and deep history. It was built in 1932 using convict labor. It's a spectacular arch spanning a very deep canyon. But to me, it's more than just concrete and steel. It's the bridge to some of the most beautiful coastline you'll ever see. You know, photography is a hunt for the right location, the right light, the clouds, everything lining up. You'll see me on this hunt testing different locations while the light is going away fast. Let's see if we can come away with that one good image. All right, we are here at the going up the back side, the stage road that goes, this goes way in the back country of Big Sur. This is an amazing road. It just winds around over, you can see it going over there because before they had the bridge, you had to wind way up these canyons. This is kind of trial and error here, folks. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh. Are we going to get sun or are we going to get skunked? Let's, let's hope we get some sun. Yeah, let's see what we got here. I'm going to try a couple of different spots. I have no idea what's going to work out. That is the nature of this kind of photography. I am going to use a tripod. Now, part of knowing your equipment is knowing how to set these things up so you can do it. Lickety split. You don't want to be like fiddling around in the dark, <laughs> wondering how to set your rig up. Like this little guy here goes to the bottom of your camera and then it it locks in like, and it, you know, it looks easy because I've done it a lot, but if you don't have it right, it's kind of a, kind of a mess. I want to get around these phone pole wires and stuff. This is the river flowing down through Bixby. And man, look at that canyon. Uh, we've hiked. There's a beautiful trail that actually goes right over there and you can see up there, it goes up on that ridge there. I'm gonna take you guys over there at some point. I wanna try to line up that rock. Just from a tripod, necessary. So, oh, that's not too shabby. This is really sketchy, so don't try it at home. This is this would be a bad place to let your equipment <laughs> slide off. You would be kind of screwed. Ooh, just made it underneath the bridge. This is going to be a black and white, by the way, guys, because there's no color coming out of the sky. So let's turn this into a black and white. And if I'm at a 20th of a second F22. And uh, that's at 1,000 ISO. So you can see there's not that much light going on here. That's, that's not bad. That's kind of cool. But you can tell, like, just being up this much higher, I lose the rock. It doesn't fit underneath the bridge. Now, that could work. I think we're going to get in the car and drive up this way, but wow, look at where we are. Check it out. Look at this canyon. This ranch here is called Brazil Ranch. And it, it now is a park, but it went all the way up, thousands of acres through here. In fact, if you climb up that ridge, you'll still see cattle up there. I've got some pictures I'll throw in there. Some uh, cows I took a couple of weeks ago. But I think we'll just go back okay. to the road. Let me do one thing while I'm here. <laughs> I brought, I want to actually pull this guy. Look at this. You guys even know what this is? This is called an Argus C3. This was not my actual camera, but this is the first 35 millimeter camera I owned. 
you know, they cost, I don't know, who knows what they cost, 50 bucks or... Look at this. You guys seen what this is? This is called film. This is Tri-X. I've never used this camera, by the way. So I have no idea. If it really works, we'll see. So I'm going to set it for 1 60th of a second. What did I say? F13. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we get. This camera has never been used by me. This is violating all principles of photography. Don't ever go out and shoot with something you haven't tested. Maybe it worked, who knows. So, one more shot. Let's see what happens, guys. I have no idea. I'm gonna show you guys other, I got a lot of other photographs at Big Speed Bridge anyway. But we're taking today. And again, hey. Even, even if we don't get a great photograph, this is pretty amazing. Pretty friggin' amazing here. And we're going back to my little mini, which is like a traveling studio right now. I've got a light kit in there from another shoot I was doing. I haven't taken it out. And I could literally shoot just <laughs> with what's in this car at the moment. What I'm going to do, I want to come up high with the tripod. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there you got wind coming out of the canyon there, blown down. Okay, this could be cool. Let's remember this shot here. The only thing I'm going to do is level it off. I like the road. You know, leading to the bridge. Those are going to be pretty dramatic clouds there. Um, we're not going to have the bridge lit up. That's we can bring that up in Lightroom with shadows. Okay, and see how that is. Okay, we pretty much are at the end of our light here. But hey, not bad. We had some fun. I just want to remind you guys, first of all, stay tuned. I'm going to do a follow-up of what came out of that camera, maybe an episode or two from here. Um, let me know what you guys want to see from us, okay? Definitely leave a comment down here. Be sure to subscribe up there. We love it when you like us. And if you could support us on Patreon, that would be awesome. I really love helping you guys and I'm glad you can follow me around sometimes with my camera and see the crazy stuff I do and the old cameras that I shoot with and I've got a bunch more that I'm going to bring along so until next time get out and capture some of your own images of life.